one word keeps coming up whenever Operation Patriot Bandolier is discussed, and that word is unprecedented. Operation Patriot Bandolier is an exercise conducted by the U.S. Army Sustainment Command. It brings together active duty Army soldiers, Army Reserve elements, and National Guard components from six states to download thousands of tons of stockpiled munitions from an Army prepositioned stock ship, in this case the military vessel Page. Load those containers onto hundreds of trucks and carry them overland to sites scattered around the country. From there, the munitions will go into long-term storage at Joint Munitions Command installations or disposed of according to Army guidelines. The Army Prepositioned Stocks Program, or APS, stores munitions and other equipment on land and at sea to be ready whenever it's needed. APS is an ongoing operation run by Army Sustainment Command in its role as the Mission Execution Arm of the Army Materiel Command. But the real story behind Operation Patriot Bandolier is the planning, the coordination, and the lessons being learned that could provide a template for future missions that keep active, reserve, and National Guard soldiers' skills honed when they're not deployed overseas. The ability to bring materiel together with the soldiers and equipment of six different National Guard units involves some very intricate and painstaking choreography and continual communication between all parties involved. We've probably been working on the planning for Army Prepo for the last nine months, working in conjunction with ASC, and then Patriot Bandolier has probably been in the planning stages for the last six to seven months at least to get this all coordinated with the National Guard. The work begins at Military Ocean Terminal Sunny Point, near Wilmington, North Carolina, a vital link in the Army's logistics chain. Huge cranes load and unload ships carrying a vast array of equipment and munitions needed by our forces and those of our allies. In an annual operation labeled Transmariner, Army reservists work alongside civilian longshoremen to move hundreds of containers of munitions and other materiel off each ship and this working together keeps the reservist skill sets at a peak. Operation Patriot Bandolier takes that one big step forward by bringing in National Guard troops with their own heavy trucks, who will then head out in convoys with the containers to depots around the country. A concern we understood would be uh, the, the movement across the states. Um, you know, it's not as though we kind of think the, the military is the military, they should be able to kind of move as they please, but it doesn't work that way state has their own uh, restrictions, their own laws, and we need to get permits to do this type of movement. An additional destination will be the Army Strategic Logistic Activity Charleston, which is another of Army Sustainment Command's APS sites, which will receive war reserve stocks. This is an opportunity for them to cross state lines, that coordination across that, which th that's one of the, uh, the monumental hurdles that they had to overcome was getting weight waivers for their trucks to be able to haul their full loads, two container loads, instead of just one container between here and the depot, which economized the whole activity. A big part of what I did was working with all the operational units from the other guard uh, units involved with this, from Florida, Connecticut, Oklahoma, Missouri, and uh, North Carolina, making sure that uh, Every, everybody's time and everybody's date synced up. My role is I'm a 25 Bravo. I'm an IT specialist. Basically, I work with satellites and communications. On a day-to-day -day basis, I deal a lot with uh, military satellites and tracking our Humvees that are going back and forth and making sure they're passing through checkpoints as they should, making sure everybody's connected to the network and the satellite's running properly, everything's sending and receiving signals as they properly should and tracking running down people that get information on convoys. For National Guard troops who generally train two days a month and a couple of weeks each year, Operation Patriot Bandolier is an exceptional opportunity. So since I've been in, this is probably the best training um, of my 13 years besides deployments training that we have received. And it's good, it's boosting morale, it's getting our soldiers to learn how to 
drive the trucks, be more comfortable behind the wheel, just in case we had a natural disaster or something we had to respond to. I love it because it's a different experience. I see the active duty side, I see the reserve side, and I see the National Guard side. I believe what it's doing is establishing um, a relationship with the National Guard, an expectation that this establishes the, that confidence, if you will, in the, in the Guard's ability to plan this, to bring in five or six different states, uh, National Guard units, and to, on this kind of a scale, to move material for APS. And that's a, that's a great uh, win for both sides. The U.S. Army Materiel Command, parent command to Army Sustainment Command, sees a lot of value in exercises like Operation Patriot Bandolier. Working on building relationships with AMC and the National Guard and the Army Reserves. And after 12 years of, of war, we don't want our reserve components to go back and, and to lose the skills that, that they have sharpened uh, over the last 12 years. The U.S. Army Sustainment Command and its supporting elements, with the help of active duty, reserve, and National Guard soldiers, are breaking new ground with Operation Patriot Bandolier, and it could very well be a template for logistics in the future. I mean, this is important because, you know, we're, we're all here for the same fight. Um, I think a lot of people, when you talk to the regular Army, you talk to reserves, you talk to Guard, you know, we just kind of look at our own piece of the pie, but a lot of people don't look at, you know, we, we're all warfighters and we all need to, to from ships to trucks to sites around the globe, Army Sustainment Command partners with active duty, reserve, and National Guard units to keep the multifaceted Army Preposition Stocks program running smoothly. Reporting for the Army Sustainment Command Public Affairs Office, I'm Greg Wilson.